Hi everyone, thank you for subscribing to my channel. Please click the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet. I'm teacher Jocelyn Velasquez, grade 6 science teacher at Bayambang Central School. Today we're going to study how the major organs of the human body, such as the digestive and the circulatory system, work together. It is anticipated that at the end of the lesson, you will be able to explain how the organs of each organ system, such as the digestive system and the circulatory system, work together. You are also expected to make a chart showing healthful habits that promote proper functioning of the digestive and the circulatory system. Why do we eat food? What do you think happens next after swallowing the food? Food is needed in our body. It is needed to carry out all our body processes and activities. However, the body cannot use the food you eat right away. Food needs to be digested and processed inside your body. By the time you place food in your mouth, the digestive system starts working. Mouth, esophagus, stomach, small and large intestines work together to break down food so that the body will absorb food nutrients. The process by which Food is changed into simpler substances that can be used by the body cells to produce energy is called digestion. What are the functions of the different parts of the digestive system? Mouth is the beginning of the digestive tract. Digestion starts by the time you place the food into your mouth and chew it. Esophagus. The wall of the esophagus is lined with smooth muscles that contract rhythmically to move the food through the digestive system in the process called peristalsis. Stomach is the large J-shaped organ at the end of the esophagus on the left side of the body. It has a sphincter muscle that closes and opens to allow the flow of food from the esophagus to the stomach. Liver is the largest gland in the body. It secretes bile that helps digest fats. The bile is stored in a small pouch called the gallbladder. Bile has substances that aid in the digestions of fats and lipids. A 
small intestine is the narrow coiled tube connected to the stomach. It has villi, small finger-like projections that produce the linings of intestinal wall. The absorption of nutrients occurs in the small intestine with the help of villi. The villi increase the internal surface of the intestinal wall to increase the absorptive area. Large intestine or colon. It is a large coiled tube attached to the end of the small intestine. It reabsorbs water and ions. It forms and stores feces. Anus and rectum. Rectum stores and expels feces, while anus is the opening for elimination of feces. It is where the digestion process ends. How do the circulatory system and the digestive system work together as an organ system? The circulatory system is the transport system of the body. It is responsible for the distribution of blood and other materials throughout the body. Blood transport nutrients, water and oxygen to the billions of cells in your body and carries away waste such as carbon dioxide. The circulatory system is an amazing highway that travels through your entire body distributing materials to all body cells. There are three major parts of the circulatory system, the heart, the blood, and the blood vessels. All of these three major parts of the circulatory system are responsible in transporting and distributing nutrients throughout the body. So, how do we conclude our lesson? The digestive system and the circulatory system work together in such a way that the digestive system breaks down food into simpler substances to be absorbed by the body, while the circulatory system is responsible in transporting and distributing nutrients throughout the body. Let us find out how much you've learned from our lesson. Name the different parts of the digestive system. What are the three major organs of the circulatory system? That ends our lesson. I hope you learned a lot from our lesson. I will see you again in my next video lesson. 
Thank you for watching.